Hi, Sandra here from Create in Spain and thank you for joining me today. I'm going to be making a repeating background stamp today, which is a honeycomb pattern. And here it is. Now the idea of this one is that it is designed so that you can slot them together and make a bigger area if you want to. The reason for this is because it means you don't use much stamp making gel to do it. And it gives you various options because you can scatter the design around a page or you can do a whole cover. It's entirely your choice. So my design is printed on tracing paper using a laser printer. My lamps are ready. So there they are in there. I've got a piece of cellophane over the top and I'm just going to put one of my frames on the top of that. I found one that fits it, so that's going in there. I have my timer to hand, so I now need to apply the gel. Oh, I lost the top of the bottle. Good job it was upright in the drawer. So I'm just going to lay down a layer of gel. I've got some bubbles there, which I will have to get rid of. And I'm not taking the surface of the nib away from the gel. It's literally lying on itself. So fill that and pop this back into the cupboard to keep it out of direct light. Okay, so since I have some bubbles out, I'm going to want to pop them. It's not that drastic because they're on the top of the gel. If they're on the base that will be where the design gets printed and that will be more of an issue. So on top of that is another piece of cellophane like so and then my second glass plate. Press down firmly like so I can lift it off if I need to reposition it. There we are. So that's my sandwich and it's going to go into the lamp for 30 seconds. And there we are. I have my timer, so three, two, one, zero. Pick it up, make sure that frame hasn't shifted, which this one has shifted just a little bit. So I'll make sure it's still in the same place where it should be and slot that through and in again for another 30 seconds. Three, two, one. There we go. Now, all being well, I should have my stamp made. Move that out of the way. Take this off. So I remove the whole thing from the plates. That is clean and can be reused. And I pull off the one which has the sticky tape on it because that is the side that the print is made from. And you can probably just about see that. So I'm going to wash that off and then come back to do the final cure. This is the stamp which has just been washed off in warm soapy water. There's a little bit of gel probably lying around that still needs to come off, but because it is so dilute now, it's not going to be a problem. So I put that in a shallow dish of water and it goes back under my lamp for three or four minutes. While that's having its final cure, I just take a piece of kitchen towel and wipe off any excess from my frame. I'm not worried that this is still a little sticky. The polymer is a very sticky substance and this is still sticky, but that's fine because the next time I use it, it will grip onto the cellophane and it won't move so much. Now eventually, when I've finished handling the stamp like that, what I will do is I will put some oil on my fingers, rub it in, and then wash it off with soap and water and my fingers won't be sticky anymore. That's the best way of cleaning up sticky fingers from the polymer. It's had its four minute cure and I'm just going to peel it from the sun frame and the stamp is done. 
All I need to do now is to trim off any excess that I don't want there. So you can cut it with scissors quite easily and just more or less go around the shape. Sometimes I leave them in a square pattern or something, but yeah, whatever. So it needs to be dried off. And this, although it looks disgusting, is actually clean. It's just stained and it's a lint free cleaning cloth, which is just damp. So I have a piece of paper over the top of a piece of foam. And the reason for that is my gas mat here is actually textured and it's not really very good for stamping on. So take my ink pad. Ink pad. Which I'm going to do a two turn when I think. Why not? And well, there we are. I will do another one so you can see how it went wrong one. I'll go to the darker one. So you can see how it lines up for a repeat pattern. And I want to have it so that the bigger hex is on the top. And there you can see that's how it works. to you can do a repeat around it as well so you can keep going as often as you like to fill the area that you want so this is a very useful stamp to have and as you saw it took very very little time and effort to make it I will put links to some more videos here I hope you'll continue watching Take care and I'll see you again soon.